Hey guys, John from flatmikealpha.com and today I'm here to talk to you about briefing a visual approach when you're lucky enough that the weather's great and you can shoot a visual approach into your destination when you're flying IFR or even VFR for that matter. How do you want to brief up going into an airport before you get there so you're familiar with what to do when you get there or if you have to go around when you get there? So this is part two to our visual approach brief. We went in a little more detail before going into Venice on runway 31 on a GPS approach. Here's doing an ILS or localizer approach. Same basic principle. We're just pulling a few key data points to get us ready for what we're going to do when we shoot this visual approach. So the weather's great. We're coming in uh, from out in the east somewhere here. So we're figuring we're just going to get vectored around. And once we call the airport in sight, we'll be clear for the visual. Terrific. So we might have dialed in uh, direct frugal or something as a standby um, as we're getting vectors just for situational awareness uh, in our GPS just to keep us aware of where we're at in relation to the airport and the approach. Anyways, we're going to start briefing this top right and it's going to go something like this. We're doing a visual to runway 14 today, Sarasota Bradenton International, SRQ, plates valid from the 5th of January 2017 to the 2nd of February 2017. That's good. Our final approach course inbound is 139, runway landing, distance available 7,540 feet, touchdown zone elevation 23, airport elevation 30 feet, and traffic pattern will plan for 1030 on that. Coming in from the east, we'll come around once we call the airport in sight, we'll be on a left base to runway 14, and we'll uh, aim for maybe a three mile final to get stabilized, plan about a thousand or traffic pattern altitude. Um, three miles out and start on down uh, using the pappies to guide us down to runway 14. If we have to go miss for any reason, then we'll plan to go straight ahead 1,000 feet and follow tower instructions. Uh, our MSA is 2,800 feet, so if we can get higher than that, if we lost comms, then we should be safe of all obstacles, and that's within 25 miles based off the SRQ VOR. Assuming we do land on runway 14, we'll be looking for Pappies on the left, displaced threshold of quite a bit there. We've got uh, Mauser lights to guide us in, and we'll expect a left turn, and say we're going over to the northeast corner there, we'll expect a left turn off, and we'd pull up our taxiway diagram at this point, and say, hey, maybe it's going to be Charlie Hotel Fox to the ramp. Uh, that's pretty much all I would really cover on a visual approach. Just kind of a quick and dirty, but gets you in the mindset of what you're going to do when you're getting there, what you're looking for, what altitudes you should be at. Um, if you're flying a high-performance airplane, it really helps you stay ahead of the airplane, knowing what altitudes you should be at, how far from the runway you should be, and what to do if you do have to go missed, and what to expect when you do clear the runway so you're not behind the airplane and kind of thinking when you really should be flying instead. Hope you guys found that helpful. Thanks so much for watching. If you got any comments at all, any ideas, share them in the comments below. We'd be happy to hear them. Make sure you give us a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to our channel to keep up with our latest videos coming out. Check out our Patreon page. We really appreciate all the support you guys give us. Every little bit helps. And remember, if you can't fly every day, then fly at MikeAlpha.com. We'll see you all next time.